Hello and welcome back to another video. Here we are going to discuss another past year paper from October November 2020. It is Probability and Statistics 2 that is S2 and the component is 62. So it is 970962. So let's discuss the question number 1. Here is the question number 1. On average, 1 in 50,000 people have a certain gene. Use a suitable approximating distribution to find the probability that more than two people in a random sample of 150,000 have the gene. So here we are talking about on average. So it is Poisson and for that we have this proportion as 1 over 50, 1 over 50,000, 1 over 50,000 and the amount this number of sample is 150,000 so the lambda the parameter for Poisson that is lambda it is NP and it is going to be 150,000 into 1 over 50,000 and we will cancel 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 and 5 1 are 5 3 is 15 so this become 3 now we will calculate the probability so it become x become the Poisson with parameter 3 and the probability we can write that probability of x it is more than 2 people so it would be greater than 2 and we are going to calculate it with 1 minus probability of x less than or equal to 2 both are same thing and that is in the discrete 1 minus probability of x is equal to 0 1 and 2 and in the Poisson we know the probability for any x is equal to r it is e raised to the power minus lambda lambda to the power r over r factorial so this become 1 minus we'll take e raised to the power minus lambda common that is minus 3 and then e raised lambda to the power 0 upon 0 factorial it is 1 then it is lambda so 3 then 3 power 2 over 2 factorial or we can write 1 minus e raised to the power minus 3 and 1 plus 3 4 4 plus this is 9 over 2 so it is 4 plus 9 over 2 is 4.5 so now we'll calculate it from the calculator directly and this value is 0 0.5768 and so on to, so the, the answer till 3 significant figure is 0 0.577 that's the probability let's discuss the next question now here's the question number two a six-sided die has faces marked 1 2 3 4 5 6 when the die is thrown 300 times it shows a 6 on 56 throws so if we talk about proportion ps then it is 56 out of 300 to get a 6 Cal question is calculate an approximate 96 percent confidence interval for the probability that the die shows a 6 on 1 throw so we are going to calculate the confidence interval and it is proportion ps so we can calculate what is qs as well in this regard and qs is 300 minus 5 56 to 44 over 300 now we'll talk about the 96 percent confidence interval so 96% confidence interval we'll see from the diagram and here it is 96% so for 96% we can think of this we can understand it is 4% is left so 2% would be here and 2% will find it here so this total value here it is going to be 98% and for the 98% this Z is going to be from the distribution table we'll find it is 2.054 
so if we have once we have z then the confidence interval for 96 percent confidence interval it is going to be ps minus root z times z times root of ps qs over n comma ps plus z times root of ps qs over n so that's the confidence interval so we will calculate ps is 56 over 300 minus z means 2.054 times this 56 into 244 over 300 here multiplied by 300 here and whole upon again my n that is going to be 300 comma 56 over 300 plus 2.054 root of 56 over 200 sorry 300 into 244 over 300 whole upon 300 so that's the confidence interval now we will calculate this from calculator so it is 0 0.1 1404 so till this we can write 0 0.140 and this upper limit is 0 0.233 and all so that's the confidence interval for that 96% confidence interval for the probability that die shows a 6 on one throw and here is the B part Marolla claims that the die is biased so we know the if the die is not biased the probability of getting 6 would be 1 by 6 and here the confidence interval the question is used answer to part A to comment on this claim since this 96% confidence interval CI is going to be 0 0.1402 to 0 0.233 and 1 by 6 1 by 6 is p is 1 point uh, sorry 0 0.166 and so on which is in between this interval p belongs to this ci so it means we cannot say that the coin if it, like we can write we don't have enough reason to say that the die is biased so we have no reason to say that the die is biased we cannot say directly that die is not biased we can say that we don't have like n any reason to say that the die is biased let's discuss the next question here's the third question a random variable x takes values between 0 and 3 only and 0 and 3 only and has the probability density function pdf is given as shown in the diagram where c is a constant show that c is equal to 2 by 3 we know that this is a pdf so the area area under the curve and the x axis it is going to be one uh, one this is going to be one I, it is outside also i have drawn but it is like area under the curve so from this diagram we can see the area total area we can write total area is total probability is one so total probability means the area under the curve everywhere it is zero till here and after this zero so it is half area of the triangle half into base into height base is 3 height is c so it is 1 and we'll cross multiply we'll get c is equal to 2 by 3 that's the proof let's discuss the b part of it here's the b part find the probability p of x greater than 2 since it was from c this is c and this distance is 2 by 3 because they have given it is we have proved in the first part it is c so this is 0 and this is 3 now 
if we have 2 here and we want to find the probability of x greater than 2 it means we want to find this area and the area we can write this probability as integration from 2 to 3 fx dx and here the fx means this equation of line so we'll find fx it is a equation of line so y is equal to mx plus c and c means y intercept here we have it is it as 2 by 3 now let's calculate gradient gradient is rise upon run so it is minus 2 by 3 because it's going coming down till here and the run is 3 whole upon 3 it become minus 2 over 9 so fx it means fx is minus 2 over 9x plus 2 over 3 now we will integrate this to get this probability of x greater than 2 and it is 2 by 3 and we'll write this minus 2 by 9 x plus 2 by 3 and dx so now the integration would be minus 2 by 9 into x square by 2 plus 2 by 3 it is x let's put the limits from 2 to 3 we can cancel these two now it is minus 1 upon 9 upper limit 3 square 9 minus lower limit 2 square 4 minus sorry plus 2 over 3 upper limit is 3 minus lower limit is 2 so we got it as minus 5 over 9 plus 2 by 3 3 3 now we can get it as minus 5 plus 6 is 1 and over 9 so that's the probability 1 over 9 I hope it is clear let's do the next part here's the C part calculate expectation of X so we know expectation of X is integration from 0 to minus infinity to infinity but the function is defined only between 0 to 3 so it is 0 to 3 X FX DX which is going to be 0 to 3 X times minus 2 by 9 x plus 2 by 3 dx because this is the function and it can be we can write it here only 0 to 3 minus 2 by 9 x square plus 2 by 3 x and dx so let's integrate it it is going to be minus 2 by 9 into x cube by 3 plus 2 by 3 into x square by 2 these two got cancelled and let's put the limit from 0 to 0 to 3 and here it is minus 2 9 3 is a 27 upper limit is 3 so 3 3 is a 9 3 is a 27 minus 0 plus 1 over 3 upper limit is 3 so 3 3 is a 9 minus 0 it become minus 2 27 27 got cancelled minus 2 and plus 9 by 3 it is 3 so this value is 1 so the expectation of x is 1 here is the next question that is fourth the areas x centimeter squares of a, of petals of a certain kind of flowers flower have mean mu centimeter square in the past it has been found that mu is equal to 8.9 following a change in the climate a botanist claims that the mean is no longer 8.9 the areas of a random sample of 200 petals from this kind of flower are measured and results are summarized by sigma of x is equal to 1850 and sigma of x square is equal to 17850 test the botanist claim at 2.5 percent significance level so we need to calculate the test at 2.5 significant percent significance level it means and and one more thing that we are going to claim they have uh, we need to uh, claim for no change uh, only change not increasing not decreasing so it means 2.5 percent would be divided into two parts that is going to be 
1.25 percent here and 1.25 percent here so the remaining this confidence interval become this is ci and the confidence interval become 97.5 percent so there are two ways first one is if we can find the confidence interval this upper limit and lower limit and we see whether this new mean the mean we'll get it from here will be in between in the acceptance region means in the ci or not or if this mean is lying somewhere here in the rejection region then only we can say the claim is we have enough evidence to consider the claim so let's find out i will use the z value i will find the z value corresponding to the mean so first one will estimate the mean because we don't have this as normal distribution an estimation of mean is going to be x bar it is sigma of x over n 1850 over 200 and estimation of variance s square it is going to be n over n minus 1 into sigma of x square upon n minus sigma of x upon n whole square which is 200 over 199 bracket 17850 over 200 minus the square of mean 1850 over 200 now let's calculate these values so mean is going to be 9.25 and this estimation for variance is 3.7060 and all so we can write it as till three significant figure 3.71 now we have the mean and variance so we can calculate uh, this at 2.5 percent significance level so we'll find the corresponding z value first of all so corresponding z value here for for 97.5 percent ci the z value from the distribution table is 2.24 now we will compare by finding the value corresponding to 9.25 so first we'll write h naught h naught is null hypothesis that is in this case mu it is given that when it was found 8.9 and h1 when it is this is different from it it is 8.9 not equal to 8.9 now see we will find the value corresponding like uh, standard score score for x bar z score z score for x bar would it would be uh, 9.25 minus mu mu that is 8.9 over standard deviation as uh, s square root of this 9.2 this value is 2.57 and now we can see since 2.57 is more than 2.24 means it is lying in the rejection region so we'll write there is enough evidence there is enough evidence that mean mu that is 8.9 is changed because it is like we are in the rejection region and we can reject h naught and h naught was that mu is 8.9 now from here of from this test at 2.5 significance 2.5 percent significance level that now we have enough evidence that mean 8.9 mean mu is changed i hope that was of some help so that's it for this video we will solve the next few questions in the next video till then thank you so much